So, good morning. YouTube video two. I now know to have the microphone a little bit closer to me. Hope this one will work better for the sound. Okay, so today what we're going to be thinking about is the um, Lyapunov stability um, exponent. So what this is, is this is a way of quantitatively measuring how stable a, um, a, a system is. So if we have an iterative map, like the logistic map we were thinking about before, we have uh, an iteration where a new value of x, xm plus 1, is given by some function of the previous value xn. Now, as a stable point, which we're going to call x star, the value of f of x star, a particular value of x, is going to equal that value of x. That's sort of the definition of a stable point. Um, but the question is, is that going to be an unstable point or a, uh, a stable point? So if, for example, uh, we take um, uh, an object like a, um, a, a bottle, um, not, not a bottle, a um, take an object like a, a banana. We imagine a banana. Banana sits quite happily on a surface, sort of like this. Or, um, and in principle, we could probably balance it so that the banana looks something like this. But that would be um, a, a sort of position of unstable equilibrium, and it would fall over to the left or to the right. Whereas here, when it's sitting just on a surface, if it gets knocked left or gets knocked to the right, it will then... Uh, be it, it, there'll be a restoring force which pushes it back and so even if it has a slight knock it'll return back to where it was so this is stable equilibrium and this is unstable now the way we find out about the stability of a point x star is consider x to be equal to x star plus a little bit, epsilon, which is very small. So we consider xn is uh, the stable point, which stays the same as just epsilon plus epsilon and n. Now, x n plus 1 is equal to epsilon n, which is equal to, oh, sorry, I've got that wrong, is equal to x star plus epsilon n plus 1. And it's also equal to the function of x which is equal to a function of x star plus epsilon, sorry, it's equal to xn plus the, x, the function of x star plus epsilon n. Now, this term here, we can use a Taylor expansion. So that's equal to, so the left-hand side is x star plus epsilon n plus 1, 
and that's equal to um, the, the function used doing the Taylor expansion now, that's f of x star plus epsilon n times f primed x star plus epsilon n squared over 2 factorial f double primed and so on. But this first term is actually equal to x star. And we can subtract x star from the left and the right to get rid of those terms at the beginning. So those terms cancel out with each other. This term with epsilon squared is going to be very small. So we're left with epsilon n plus 1 equals epsilon n times f prime of x star. And in fact, in general, epsilon n is going to equal f prime of x star times epsilon naught. Now, if this, if the modulus, oh sorry, this is to the power of n. So every time to get the next value of epsilon, we multiply by this gradient of the function at the value of x star. Now, if um, if the modulus of this number, so the positive value, is less than 1, then it will get smaller. And as we go to infinity, it'll go, or rather, I should write, as n goes to infinity, epsilon n will go to 0, and this is stable. If, uh, if the modulus is greater than 1, as n goes to infinity, epsilon of n will go to infinity, and that will be unstable. So the Lyapunov stability constant or exponent, what we do is we, we're going to take uh, the sum over many values, the sum from i equals 1 to n, and we're going to take the sum of the log, the natural log, of the modulus of f primed of x star. And that, and we're going to take that over many values of n and take an average, so divide that by n, and that is going to be uh, lambda, our Lyapunov constant. And if this average uh, value. Now, when we take the log, if it's less than 1, then it's going to be negative. If we take, so here, the log, here, the log is negative, and here, the log is positive, because the log of a number less than 1 is negative, the number of a greater than 1 is positive. So, to program this, what we need to do is to um, is, is to do the following. So this is now a sort of measure of how stable things are. It's a quantitative measure. And uh, what we need to do is, now normally what we will be doing, if it was for logistic map, we have uh, f of x is equal to r, times x times 1 minus x. That's for the logistic equation, of course. And normally what we want to do is examine lots of different values of r. So we have a loop where r goes from 0 to 4 for the logistic map.
and in this loop we set x0 to a particular constant, say 0.6. Now what we need to do is we need to do a loop for 1000 or more. And all we do in this loop is we say x is equal to f of x. We just find the next value. What we're doing effectively is finding the stable value x star or the long term value. Next what we do is we set some sum to be equal to uh, 0. We then have another loop I'm sorry, this is getting a bit small now. Uh, loop for, say, another 1,000. And uh, what we do is we have to first find the next value of x. And then after that, what we do is add to sum, add to sum, so sum plus equals the log of the modulus of f primed of x. So we go around a thousand times calculating the new value of x and adding to the sum the log of the modulus of f prime of x. We need to use the modulus because of course we can't take the log of a negative number. And finally then we need one more loop which is still inside this loop for r. Loop for 30 maybe. And in this loop what we need to do in here is we need to find again the next value of x and then we need to print I suggest in three columns is easiest, the value of r, the value of x, and the value of sum divided by a thousand. So we have a sum which goes for a thousand, and uh, if you have looped for a thousand times adding to sum, then you'll get the average by dividing by a thousand. And in this way, we can measure this stability constant as a function of R. And remember, it's negative, it's stable. Positive is unstable. But more than that, the more negative it is, the more stable it is, the more positive it is, the more unstable it is.